lines up here. The wife of one husband. No, it didn't say that. <laughs> now, you may try to toy with the Greek all you want. I've looked at it in the Greek, and I've executed it, and I know what it means. It meant that 2,000 years ago. It means that today. Amen. Now, I didn't say that a woman couldn't get up here and speak, but I'm saying that she can't get up here and be my pastor. Oh, now, 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 wait, John, you old-fashioned. I'm old-fashioned as this book is. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 if I'm wrong, Dr. Holliman taught me wrong, then. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> All right. This is, this version goes on and talks about this Dr. Dudridge. He says, his amiable disposition permitted him to do what men made of sterner stuff would have never done. He sometimes mingled in a fraternity, uh, that is, in a fraternal manner, even exchanging pulpits. That's another common practice. Well, you know, we know Rick Warren has a big church. Invite him down and let him speak on the leadership day. Hold it. What does Rick Warren believe about the word of God? Be careful. Be careful. Oh, man, he has 15,000 people. Man, he's popular. Be careful. He runs this world. Careful, I am not impressed by no. I'm impressed by sacrifice. A portion of Spurgeon's writing here, 113 years ago, he says, to alter the foundation of a building, difficult undertaking. And then he says, underpinning its extensive and perilous work, it might be more satisfactory to take the whole house down and reconstruct it. And then he says, if I had believed that the Baptist Union could be made a satisfactory structure. And then he says, I could not then have remained in it because to do so would have violated my conscience. We have C.H. Spurgeon says, my conscience would not allow me to continue to participate in debauchery. Christians, if you don't think like that and talk like that, you're going to follow it. I was looking at the LA Times, maybe you got it last Sunday, and you know, a lot of people, and listen, I'm, gonna just, I'm not going to tell you who I voted for, it's none of your business, you, you know, you vote your conscience, but they have this little cartoon that was in the LA Times, and it says, come on, give them a few billion, they swear to God they'll never mention religion, because you know what this new thing about giving money now to the, uh, you know, fake services things, that means that you have to sign a document that you will not proselytize. The answer why the church will never take government money for anything. Because see, then they're going to tell me what I can preach. I can't preach against homosexuality behind the pulpit. Wait a minute, this just came off the press yesterday. And this came from the current news summary. As an apologist, I have to stay abreast of these things. Atlanta Baptist Association affirms homosexual friendly churches. In a call meeting on January 30th, the Atlanta Baptist Association, by a vote of 253 to 164 secret ballots, secret, secret, <laughs> ask me whether I think homosexuality is a sin. I, I said, don't give me a secret ballot, give me one with my name on it. <laughs> I want to go on record. Secret ballot, because see, that's what these churches are all about now. Use it friendly, don't hurt anybody's feelings, don't let anybody know anything. Well, what you up there preaching for? Well, brother, we're going to talk about that that is wrong. What do you call it? Uh, that that is improper. What do you call it? Uh, that which is not uh, what we like. What do you call it? It's called sin. Say it. Now, if you have 253 saying, yes, we're going to accept the churches, and 164 says no, why did the 164 drop out of the union like Spurgeon did? I'll tell you why they didn't drop out, because this thing has gotten that way. We'll say, we'll never let it come in here, but it's coming, buddy. Mm -hmm. And when it comes, either you fight it, or you embrace it. And that's what the Word of God teaches us. Let me continue. Because a lot of people think that I'm a very controversial guy. And indeed I may be. This is what Spurgeon says. He says, controversy is never a very happy element for the child of God. He would far rather be in communion with his Lord 
than to be engaged in defending the faith. Thank you, Charles Hatton. Me too. Are in attacking error. Thank you, Charles Hatton. Me too. He says, but the soldier of Christ knows no choice in his master's command. He may feel to be better for him to lie upon the bed of rest than to stand covered with the sweat and the dust of battle. Here Spurgeon speaks as if he is a warrior. <clears throat> you know, we sing these songs, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. That does not mean having a pity party because only five showed up at your Bible study. That's not the battlefield. The battlefield means that you're going to have to come against a world of ideas. That's why you're attending Biola. That's why you're attending Talbot. You're coming against idealistic, a world of ideas that has infiltrated the church. And its ultimate purpose is to destroy the church. That's what it's on, is to destroy the church. And you have to listen, you have to see it in your mind's eye one day when there is no more preaching like this. Well, it will not be allowed. It will be allowed with me because they will have to take me out, chained and baseball bat and everything. Because I will preach the word. They will kill me while I'm preaching. They will burn me at the stake. They will, they will, they, they will do me like they did the first century Christian. That's the kind of Christian I am. I believe in this book. Nothing will ever cause me to compromise. My wife can go crazy. I'll just say, go see a doctor, sweetheart. I'm going to Christ. Don't let anyone turn you from this book. It's very important. But controversy, I know. I'm a very controversial person. and Nobody likes that. This is what this person says about this also. He says that a Christian minister must expect. I like that word because he's talking about being.